What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Snack Shine TV, and today I'll go my WWE NXT standard delivery review and highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more wrestling content, find my social media down below in the description, and let's get started. Now, WWE NXT standard delivery was a good show, and I give it a 5.5 out of 10. That's all I gotta say. It says, WWE NXT standard delivery begins with a kickoff match between Sean Spears and Joe Gacy. All right, so we get a kickoff match. Sean Spears versus Joe Gacy. And I heard this match was good. Even though I, I missed the kickoff, but this, but I heard this match was good. All right. Rich Holland hits Joe Gacy with a steel chair um, from behind on his way to the ring as Sean Spears look on. Joe Gacy gets in the ring and insists he's ready to fight. The referee rings the bell. Joe Gacy starts off hot with a fury but Sean Spears managed to get things under control relatively quickly. Sean Spears focuses on Joe Gacy's back and hits him with a backbreaker. Joe Gacy fights back, and the two men get into a chop battle. Sean Spears wins the battle, putting Joe Gacy in a Boston Crab. Joe Gacy managed to escape and gets to top rope, hitting Sean Spears with a crossbody. A quick cover followed by a quick kickout. Joe Gacy continues to the offensive with a virus. Virus strike and a German suplex. Joe Gacy hits a line saw and Sean Spears kick out at two. The match heads to ringside and Sean Spears managed to re to retain control, dropping Joe Gacy on his injured back across the hardest part of the ring. Joe um Sean Spears gets Joe Gacy back in the ring and goes for the C4, but Joe Gacy managed to to escape. Joe Gacy hits in your range for another two count. Joe Gacy regains control for for a bit, but missed a swanton bomb off the top rope. Sean Spears capitalized with a pedigree, but Joe Gacy kicks out at two. Sean Spears attempts C4 again, and Joe Gacy reverses it, hitting upside down war on Spear to score the pinfall. The winner of the match, Joe Gacy. This was a good match, in my opinion. All right, let's move on. A video package are we capping Carmella Hayes and Trick Williams rivalry. These two men will main event NXT Standard Delivery this afternoon, which I'm happy about. It. All right, the NXT Standard Delivery Premium Live Event starts now. Metal 4 opens the Premium Live Event as the host of NXT Standard Delivery with their video package recapping all the big matches for this afternoon show. Okay, so we get the NXT Tag Team Championship match Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker versus Nathan Frazier. And and Axiom. This this main event, not main event, I'm sorry, this 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 match right here was just okay for what it was. Axiom and Frazier attack Corbin and Breaker before they get into the ring. Diving on them over the top rope. Axiom gets Braun Breaker in the ring to start the match, but things things quickly change to Corbin and Frazier. Corbin controls the match early. But a but a reversal from Frazier allows him to tag in Axiom. Axiom and Frazier hits a double team move on Corbin and go for a quick pinfall. But Barry Corbin kicks out. Corbin quickly gets things back under control and hits Axiom with a brain buster. Barry Corbin tags in Breaker, um, who hits Axiom with a monster stunner line for before tagging Baron Corbin right back in. Baron Cor Bonbreak and Barry Corbin exchange quick tags and they keep Axiom in their corner. Bonbreaker continues to punish Axiom until he attempts another stunner line stunner line, which gets reversed into a Spanish fly. Axiom and Breaker both tag both both make tags and Frazier quickly gets the better of Corbin, hitting him with a running shooting star press for a two count. More tags that more, more tags takes place and Axiom hits Braun Breaker with a crazy super kick for another two count. Axiom goes to the top rope as Braun Breaker tags out to Corbin. Um, however, Braun Breaker doesn't leave the ring and hits Axiom with a top top rope Frankensteiner. Corbin covers, but Frazier breaks it up. Braun Breaker takes some punishment and gets hit with a top rope Spanish fly from, uh, from Axiom, followed by a top rope 450 from Frazier. Braun Breaker still managed to kick out at two. Braun Breaker tags in Corbin, who, who goes to the top rope and hits a big splash on Frazier, but Frazier kicks out at two. Frazier and Axiom take control and brawl with Corbin and Braun Breaker on the outside. 
boy Ben Frazier tossed Corbin back in, back in and hits him with the Phoenix Splash. But Breaker breaks it up. The, the finish saw Bob Breaker hit Frazier with a spear while the referee was checking on action. Baron Corbin pins Frazier to retain the titles. The winner is still WWE NXT Tag Team Champions. Bob Breaker and Baron Corbin. This match was so, this tag team match was okay for what it was. Okay, Braun Breaker remains a champion in NFC while on the SmackDown roster. Metaphor is backstage and Norm Dar says in order to get paid, they need to do some interviews. The Metaphor argue over who will interview Opa family. Oh, or Mansaw gets gets the shot end of the stick and tries to interview Opa family, but gets run over instead. So we get the NXT North American Championship. Opa so we get the NXT North American Championship tri- Triple Threat Match. Oba Femi versus Dijak versus Josh, Josh Briggs. This was a fantastic Triple Threat Match. Dijak and Josh Briggs start the match by double teaming Oba Femi. The match goes to the outside and Oba Femi quickly regains control of the match, tossing Dijak over the over an empty commentary table. Oba Femi loses control and Dijak takes over, tossing the champion into the commentary chair. Dijak goes to the top rope to dive on him, but Josh Briggs grabs Dijak and tosses him into Obafemi instead, and they topple over the topple over with a chair. Um, Josh Briggs and Dijak take it back in the ring and hits Obafemi with a double choke slam. They both go for the pinfall, but Obafemi still kicks out at two. Obafemi tries to use his power to take over again, but is tossed to the outside. Josh Briggs hits Dijak with a big boot. And Dijak kicks out at two. Oba Femi tries to get back in the ring and goes for Josh Briggs, who going to the top rope. Dijak hits him with a super kick and knocks him back to the floor. Dijak climbs up to to fight with Josh Briggs, who gets nailed with a clothesline off the top rope. Josh Briggs goes for the pinfall, but Dijak gets his foot on the rope. Oba Femi is back in the ring, and, and the three men have a top battle. The, this results in all three men just going at it, each other with quick moves, which Dijak eventually wins. Dijak goes for the cover on Josh Briggs, but he's kicked out at two. Dijak follows it up with a choke slam, and Josh Briggs kicks out at one that time. But but it but this doesn't but this doesn't matter. Dijak who hits Josh Briggs with a Canadian destroyer. That was cool by Dijak with that Canadian destroyer. But anyway, let me continue. But once again, Josh Briggs kicks out. Dijak push, puts Josh Briggs on his shoulders and goes for the goes to the climb the top goes to climb the turnbuckles. But Oba Femi gets back in the ring, puts Dijak on his shoulders and drops him drops both men. Oba Femi covers Di, uh, Josh Briggs, but Dijak breaks it up. Dijak hits feature eyes on Oba Femi and goes for the cover. But Josh Briggs comes off the top rope and with a moonsault and Dijak moves out, moves and connects with Oba Femi. Dijak tosses Josh Briggs out and hits Oba Femi with another feature eyes and goes for the pin. But the referee is pulled out of the ring at two by Josh Briggs. The crowd chant B- BS. The three men take the match to the outside and Josh Briggs puts Oba Femi through the barricade. Dijak immediately capitalizes on it and hits Josh Briggs with the feet your eyes on the outside, toss him back in the ring and hits him with it again. Dijak tries to get the win, but Oba Femi reappears and grabs Dijak by the throat. Oba Femi powerbombs Dijak on the top of Josh Briggs for before pinning Josh Briggs to retain his title. The winner is still your NXT North American champion, Oba Femi. No title change thus far. At NXT standards living, Tony D'Angelo is shown in his locker room with the rest of his family, preparing for his NXT Championship match later at this afternoon. Metal Four tries to get comments for Theo Hall, following Henry and Keanu Jordan ahead of their match. Andre Chase warns against it, but no Norm Dar doesn't listen and gets an arm bar by Theo Hall after asking a question about. Jesse Jane. So we get a six woman tag team match. Theo Hall, Fallen Henley, and Keanu Jordan are coming by Chase U versus Keanu James, Izzy Dan, and Jesse Jane are coming by Jasper Nick. And this six woman tag team match, this was pretty good. 
Keanu James, Izzy Dame, and Jesse James get control earlier, attacking their opponents from behind and continue to beat down at ringside. Dame, Izzy Dame starts things with Henley in the ring, but Dame quickly tags in Keanu James, who gets a few hits before attacking in Jesse James. Keanu Joint breaks up the ball, the flow, allowing Henley to tag Theo Hall, who dives in off the top. Jesse James goes outside the ring and gets and, and gets away. And Theo Hall goes for another dive, landing on a member of Chase U instead. This allows Jesse James to retain control of the match and, and toss Theo Hall back in the ring. Theo Hall managed to get tagged to Jordan who takes control and while before Dame gets involved and puts things back on their team in favor. The three women double team Jordan for a while and Keanu, Keanu James puts her in the ambition of stress. Keanu Jordan escapes but is unable to make the tag and the beatdown continues. Jordan finally makes the tag to Henley who comes with a, with a hot tag laying into both Dame and James. Uh, Jesse Jane chose to come in and get involved in Henley's take her down too. Henley hits James with a suplex and goes for the cover, but Jesse Jane breaks it up. Keanu Ke James hits Henley with a top rope Spanish spot, but Henley kicks out at two. The match gets chaotic with some action on the outside until Jesse Jane and Theo Hall end up being the legal woman in the ring. Uh, with Keanu James and Easy Dan laid out at ringside, Jesse Dane is no one to tag. Theo Hall and Jesse Dane start slugging one another. Theo Hall gets the better of the exchange and lands a Luther Express with a punch on Jesse Dane. Um, Keanu, Keanu James yanks, uh, yanks Theo Hall out of the ring and allows Jesse Dane to make the tag to Easy Dane. Easy Dane gets locked in a Kimura by Theo Hall and taps out. The winner of the match, Theo Hall, Fallen Henley, and Keanu joining. This was a pretty good six women tag team match. Three matches remain on NFC Center Delivery. Ava is backstage and says she will believe the women are the backbone of the NFC. Ava announces that they will soon crown the first ever women's North America champion. That, 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 that championship belt looked fire. So I gotta say, it says breaking news. Um, Ava WWE has announced that WWE NXT will soon be crowned the first ever NXT Women's North America champion. Okay, let's move on. Former Stardom star Gulia is shown in the crowd ahead of the NXT Women's Championship match. Okay, she about to get signed to NXT. So we get the NXT Championship match. Laura Raquel versus Ross Press. This match was fantastic. They both was going at it. And I picked Ross Press to go over Laura Valkyrie and I caught it straight down the middle. All right, this match was fantastic. Roxanne Perez immediately goes after Laura Valkyrie's arm. Laura Valkyrie tries to fight out of the situation, but Roxanne Perez refused to let up in her, in her target. Every time Laura Valkyrie takes control, Roxanne Perez immediately goes back to the arm. Laura Valkyrie tosses Roxanne Perez out of, outside, then toss her back to give herself to recover, but it doesn't help. As Ross and Prince goes right back to working on the injured arm, Ross and Prince hits a Russian leg sweep and goes with a pinfall, but Laura Valkyrie kicks out. Ross and Prince goes back to working on Laura Valkyrie's arm for a good while. As Ross and Prince continues to focus on her arm, Laura Valkyrie can't sadden any offense. Laura Valkyrie finally finds some offense with a bunch of strikes, including a Northern Light suplex, but but Press Ross and Press kicks out. Laura Valkyrie hits a fisherman brain buster and goes for another pinfall. Washington Press kicks out once again. Washington Press and Laura Valkyrie fire on the top rope, and it ends with Laura Valkyrie hitting a running lager bomb. Washington Press kicks out of that pinfall attempt and rolls out of the ring. Laura Valkyrie dives on her, but Washington Press managed to get back in the ring and dives out with a tornado DT. Washington Press tosses Laura Valkyrie into the ring and hits a pop rock. But the but the champion kicks out at two. The challenger freaks out and goes back to the attacking the arm. Tatum Tatum Paxley comes through the crowd and Paxley and Laura Valkyrie collide on the outside, which allows Ross and Prince to take control. After after a back and forth battle inside the ring, Ross and Prince hits pop rock again. Laura Valkyrie looks in a 
in a cross space, lost in a cross space, and gets the champion to tap out for our first title challenge. Chance of the the evening. And the winner of the match in your new um, NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Press. This match was fantastic. Okay. Hat, um, Roxanne underscore WWE takes her place atop the WWE NXT Women's Division once again. So Roxanne Press is now a two-time NXT Women's Champion. Lion Jai Dragunov is backstage preparing for his NXT Champion match with Tony G. D'Angelo. So we get Tony so we get the NXT Championship match. Lion Jai Dragunov versus Tony D. D'Angelo accompanied by the family. This was a good match. Good match. Tony D. D'Angelo and Dragunov exchanged charge early on before the two topple outside of the ring together. Dragunov tossed D'Angelo back in and the two proceed to go right back over the top rope onto the floor. D'Angelo tossed the champion back into the ring and they both go down with a double clothesline. Dragunov his Dragon dragging off his Tony D'Angelo with a series of German suplexes. D'Angelo gets control and when he starts to focus on Dragunov to enter hand. Dragunov eventually regains control of the match as they as the match ends up at ringside. It doesn't last long. However, when Dragunov hands collide with the ring still post, the match returns to the ring and Dragunov managed to hit another series of German suplexes. Dragunov hits a running knee to the head, but, Dra- but Tony G. D'Angelo kicks out at two. Dragunov re- remains in control until goes for the H-bomb, and Tony D. D'Angelo managed to re- reverse it. Stacks, hands D'Angelo brass knuckles, but the uh, Don hands them back, saying he's done. he doesn't want to win like that. This allows Dragunov to get back in control of the match. Dragunov touched Stacks, who tries to get involved, but D'Angelo tells him to stand down. D'Angelo fires up and gets the upper hand on Dragunov again, landing a belly to belly suplex. The match eventually returns to ringside as D'Angelo and Dragunov tear the top of the, the top of the ensue ensue commentary table. Dragunov hits D'Angelo with the H bomb, but says it's not over. Okay, D'Angelo puts down. De- Dragunov puts D'Angelo on the commentary table and hits him with another H-bomb, which flattens the table beneath both of them. The champion tosses D'Angelo back into the ring and hits him with a senton and goes for the cover, but D'Angelo kicks out at two. Dragunov goes to the top rope, but D'Angelo catches him as he comes down in a power bomb. The champion and the challenger exchange move back and forth until Dragunov goes to the top rope and hits a super H-bomb to retain his title. The winner is still your NXT champion, Elijah Dragunov. This was a good match. Dragunov and um, D'Angelo shake hands, and a show of respect followed the match. Okay, let's move on. So, Laura Rakira is upset with her loss at NXT Center. Deliver Tatum Paxley tries to apologize to Laura Rakira backstage, but she doesn't want to hear it and storms off. A video package plays for Javon Evans. He'll make his NXT debut this Tuesday. Okay. Metal 4 is in the ring, and Norm Dar says NXT has broken their audience attendance record with a crowd of 16.545 this afternoon. So we get the main event of the evening, Carmella Hayes versus Trick Williams. This main event was fantastic. They both was killing it. They, this match was cooking. And I got my boy, and I had my boy, uh, Trick Williams going over Carmelo Hayes, so I picked Trick Williams go over win his match over Carmelo Hayes. That's my boy Trick Williams, and he got the job done at his hometown in Philadelphia. Carmelo Hayes over all wrestled Trick Williams early on. Trick Williams decides to change things up and takes to the match to the outside, where he managed to take control of the matchup. Trick and Melo head to the crowd and starts brawling as the referee follows both men. Melo eventually gets the upper hand when he Toss Williams into a trash can. The match returns to ringside and Trick Williams gain, regains control before Kamala Hayes gets back into the ring inside the, inside the ring. Melo once again regains control of the match out wrestling his opponent. Trick Williams hit a big splash in the corner and looks to take things back outside with a top rope suplex. Melo managed to prevent it and drops Trick Williams to the outside after 
smashing him on the exposed steel of the turnbuckles. Trick Williams gets back in the ring, and Carmelo Hayes continues to pick him apart. Melo and Trick Williams hit each other with a draw kick, which puts both men on the mat. Trick Williams fires up and starts to get the battle of Carmelo Hayes with a series of moves followed by a flapjack. Trick Williams hits a big boot and goes for the cover, but Carmelo Hayes kicks out. Um, Trick Williams, I'm sorry, the match returns to ringside as Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams walk by the commentary desk. Commentary tables. Carmelo Hayes tosses Trick Williams back in the back in, hits a top rope frost splash and goes for the pin. But Trick Williams locks, kicks out at two. Melo retain. I'm sorry, Mel, Carmelo Hayes remains in control of the match for quite some time. Carmelo, Carmelo Hayes tries to choke Trick Williams with his wrist tape, but Trick Williams manages to reverse it. Trick Williams goes for another corner splash, but hits the referee instead. And now the official is is, is down. Carmelo Hayes, Carmelo Hayes hits a chop block on Trick Williams and goes to goes outside, grabs a steel chair. Trick Williams takes the chair from Carmelo Hayes and unloads it on him until the referee gets up and takes it away. As the referee does does that, Carmelo Hayes kicks him in the low blow and pants Trick Williams, but Trick Williams kicks out at two. Carmelo Hayes accidentally takes out the referee again and he's a he's a nothing but now on Trick Williams. A second referee hits the ring, but Trick Williams kicks out at two. Trick Williams regains control and hits the trick knee. Trick Williams calls Melo and scores the pair for a victory. The winner of the match, Trick Williams. This this main event match was fantastic. They both was cooking in this match. And I did pick a Trick, one, trick Williams to go over Carmelo Hayes. That was my pick. Trick Williams gets the win over Carmelo Hayes. Trick Williams celebrates his big win as NXT standard delivery goes off the air. All right. Let me give my honest opinion about what I think about WWE NXT Standard Delivery. Honest, like in my own opinion, WWE NXT Standard Delivery was a good show, and I give it a 5.5 out of 10. The the uh, the pay per view itself, the match itself, there was cooking. So I enjoyed the WWE NXT Standard Delivery pay per view. The show was lit, the crowd was hyped, the the every match was cooking, and I liked that. And um, that's all I gotta say. If you guys enjoy my WWE NXT Standard Deliver review on highlights, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think of WWE NXT Standard Deliver. It was a good show, and I give it a 5.5 out of 10. For all the newcomers that's watching this video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to, for more wrestling content to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, show, follow my social media down below in the description. And I'll see you guys later on. See you guys next on my WWE WrestleMania 40 Night 1 review and highlights. This is your boy, B-Boy Snacks, Shine TV. Have a great night. Have a great day. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew. Kept your kings. Kept your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang. Mwah. Bang. Gang. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.